Are you interested to know about plants around us? Yes. Are you confused to identify the plants and types of plants? Have you heard about shrubs, trees, creepers, climbers and herbs? Then you are on correct platform. I am damn sure. After watching this video, you will not have confusion after this. I promise. And don't forget to attend the quiz that I will give you at the end of this video. Check how much score you will get. Plants are green friends. They are living things which grow, breathe, prepare their food and reproduce. They are found everywhere. On mountains, in desert, in water and even below the sea and oceans. They are different types of plants around us. We can divide them into different groups according to the place where they grow, their size, shape and strength. Like trees, shrubs, herbs, climbers, creepers, aquatic plants, desert plants, non-flowering plants and new plants. Let's start one by one. Here is the tree. Trees are tall, big and strong plants with thick woody stem known as trunk. Most of the trees bear fruits and live for many years. For example, neem, people, ashoka, eucalyptus and mango and coconut. What is mean by shrubs? Shrubs are the bushy plants which have thin woody stems with many branches going from the base. They live for a few years. For example, rose, mehendi, bougainvillea and hibiscus. And what is herbs? Herbs are the small plants with thin and weak stems. They are also called seasonal plants. They live for a few months only. For example, mint, coriander, spinach, mustard and chili. No climbers? Climbers are the plants with thin and weak stems. They cannot grow upwards on their own. They need support of other things to climb upwards. Some examples are pea, grey point and money plant. Now next type of plant is creeper. Creepers are the plants with weak stems. But they have very big and heavy fruit. Creepers cannot support the weight of their fruits. So they grow along with the soil. Some examples are pumpkin, watermelon and muskmelon. Next type of plant is aquatic plant. Aquatic plants live and grow in water. They have spongy and waterproof bodies with air spaces, vaccillus and stems. Water lily, lotus and water hyacinth are some examples of aquatic plants. Do you know desert plants? Desert plants are also called thorny plants because they have thorns on their bodies. They grow in dry sandy areas. They do not need much water to grow. Thorns conserve water by not letting out the moisture. Examples are cactus, aloe vera. What is non-flowering plant? Non-flowering plants are the plants which do not bear flowers. They remain green throughout the year. Most of them are used for decorational purpose. Fern, pine and cycas are some examples. Are there new plants? Yes, there are many exotic plants which did not grew earlier in some parts of the world. They have been brought from other countries but now they grow very well in different parts of every country. We can relish new type of exotic foods and vegetables in our country too. Examples are lychee, kiwi and broccoli. Now we will see how plants help us as green friends. They help us in many ways such as keeping the air fresh and pure by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen. They are also called as green lungs of the nature. Plants give us food in the form of cereals, sugar, tea, coffee, spices, vegetables, fruits, oils etc. Plants give us natural fibers such as cotton, jute and linen and many more. Plants give us wood to make furniture, doors, windows, houses, carts and some more. Plants like ginger, garlic, tulsi, eucalyptus, neem and mint have medicinal value. We get rubber, natural colors, paper, oils and 
perfumes for plants. Now here are some interesting facts about plants. The California redwood trees are the world's tallest trees. Strawberry is the only fruit that bears its seeds on outside. Bamboo is the fastest growing woody plant in the world. It can grow 35 inches in a day. Do you know? Coconut trees, also known as the tree with a thousand uses. Each and every part of its tree is useful to us. People have to undergo training to learn climbing a coconut tree. Cunid is made from cinchona tree. We use it to treat malaria. My grandma always says, you should not pluck flowers from the plant. They grow and look best on plants. After being plucked, they wither away soon. Do not cut trees or trample over small plants in the garden. Follow the notice boards put in parks and gardens. Friends, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep watching my upcoming videos. Put your comments in the comment box. I am going to put interesting videos like this. So do like, share and subscribe my channel. See you. Bye.